and we're back. What's up, everybody? Binge it well done, coming at you live. Uh, so, I got into the, um, last year, there was this contest at the Arlington Improv that I wanted to be a part of. I didn't get into it. Uh, excuse me. It's called the, um, uh, Funniest Comic in Texas. Hopefully my camera is working, but we'll see. I get a new phone just for what it's worth. Shout out to Black Friday. Um, in like nine days. And it's extremely needed because all my videos are fucking up. Like this one probably, but we'll see. Anyway. Um, so, good news. I got into something called the uh, Funniest Comic in Texas. Which is really great. It allows me the opportunity to compete of uh, other... Um, against other comedians that are pretty good in the area and um, step out of other people's uh, perception of myself which is extremely wanted and needed and desired and it will happen um, regardless of the status of like however I do in that competitions mm, competitions are kind of a strange thing when it comes to comedy because that's like saying, okay, which song is better? All right, if I gave you like a rock song and then a rap song. Now, if both were, if both were like number one bestsellers, um, who, who, how are you gonna say that one is good and one is bad? Especially if they're both, like I said, top sellers. Um, but I look at this as an opportunity, as another time to get stage time and hopefully, potentially, uh, even win. Which is what I'm going to work on doing. I'm going to try to do it. And um, I am going to give my best effort. I already know what I'm going to say. It's perfected material. I already know that it works. Um, and uh, yeah, like I was saying another time, one thing that I love about comedy that's really, really interesting about it is I'm always trying to prepare myself to be better than the person next to me without having an idea really as to um, what they're doing. And I have to raise my bar internally externally with myself uh, kind of like with going to the gym you know but when it comes to creativity being unique originality stage presence all that stuff so I'm really excited about that um, it's really really important for me uh, all, all these shows are really important for me but this is also very extremely important on another level because this already shows that I'm getting better just to be to get into the contest which is great um also, I learned a really, really good lesson. I learned a really, really good lesson um, kind of indirectly, but all right, so here's what happened. He, here's a lesson when it comes to comedy. Being funny isn't enough. You heard it. Being funny is not enough. That's actually what I'm going to name the title of this, uh, this video. So what do you mean by that? Being funny is not enough to be a successful comedian. Why? Well, here's the thing. You actually have to be a successful promoter uh, in order to sell tickets to live off that for a living. That's common sense. But that's something that I didn't really have, I didn't really put together. I mean, I knew it on the outside, but it, it's more personal now, which means a lot to me in a very positive, good way. So I was watching uh, Joe Rogan, his show, and um, he made a comment about something that had like a little impact. It was like a little comment that had a big, a, a pretty significant impact. But it like amplified and it rippled and I'll, I'll explain. So what he said was he was talking to somebody and he made a comment that not that many people are, are good at usually really great comedians suck at promoting. And usually really great promoters suck at being comedians. I'm paraphrasing how he said it, but that was pretty much it. And he said, in order to be uh, excellent, an excellent comedian though, you have to be uh, great at both. So I'm taking a, uh, a note to what he said and applying it to myself. So here, here's what happened. Not even an hour after that, um, I got a text message from a comedian that I'm going to be doing his show tomorrow. I'm so excited about it. And um, we were 
uh, talking the phone, or, or, yeah, we were, but it was like a text message that he sent, sorry about the camera, the thing keeps sliding around, but anyway, um, he wanted to know how many tickets I sold, and, um, I told him, you know, you know, X amount, it wasn't a lot, I expect a lot more, I'm trying to get a lot more, but again, I'm, I'm leading to my point, and, um, and he said, uh, I said, hey, but I'm gonna bring the heat, like, I'm gonna bring the fire, the comedy, and he said, being funny, uh, isn't all you need. I'm paraphrasing however he said it. We and he was then he continued in the text message by stating that um, we, meaning myself as well, for the show have to prove that we can sell tickets. Otherwise, we're not going to be given another opportunity. So I just heard Joe say that, and now I'm saying him hear it directly after it, and I made it into my own. Maybe like after some contemplation and figuring some things out, I made it into my own, which is this. In a nutshell, being funny is not enough. Because, um, you know, before when I was promoting my, my show uh, and my act and, and myself as a comedian, I was doing it for, uh, for Instagram followers and for YouTube subscribers and stuff like that. And to have people come out and see my shows, well, let's just say they, everybody came out, but they were always for free. Well, that doesn't really help me out because the only way I'm going to be able to do this as a living is to... It was like I had a mathematical formula, but not what it equals. And what it equals at the very end is uh, sales. And that means that I have to constantly promote myself 24-7, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, always and always, everywhere I go. And I've been doing that for a little while, for like last uh, few weeks few months something like that with my promo card that has like all my social media contact info and all that stuff on it um, and I'm getting out everywhere uh, AutoZone uh, the oil change place that, that I go to uh, the mall and it, not just at random it would be like with good genuine funny conversations and making people laugh grocery store you name it that's just me in general but now I have a purpose it's really important because now I know the reason why behind it which actually makes me even more motivated to want to do it, which is to get these people to uh, um, not just see my show, but the purpose behind that is so that I can have them uh, purchase a ticket so that I can live off this since this is my passion. Um, in a sense, and really that's it in a nutshell. Um, so in short, the lesson is this. Uh, being funny isn't enough. I have to be a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, constant promotion. Um, and uh, the purpose of that is so that I can um, sell tickets to uh, all my upcoming shows and to uh, um, expand myself so I can start to sell merch and so that I can start to um, uh, get promotions and stuff like that on my YouTube channel and Instagram and all that stuff. But it all comes down to um, the catalyst comes down to uh, bread and water. And what I mean by that is uh, being able to sell myself with the purpose of being able to live off of uh, the results of those sales, which is the whole way of, uh, and the only way of uh, making a living is by selling tickets and selling merchandise and stuff like that. So that's really what I wanna do. And, and I'm so happy I learned that lesson because it means so much to me. Um, now that I actually have uh, uh, the reason behind the destination, which is to sell tickets, to live off of that money, which is the whole purpose of doing this for a living. In order to do this for a living, I have to um, uh, make money from it, and I make money from merchandise and tickets and stuff like that. So, anyway, just wanted to uh, do a quick shout out, say that real quick, and um, I gotta, I gotta do a couple like personal errands and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I hope you liked this video, and um, yeah, just uh, keep on watching. I'll talk to you then. I'm into well done. See ya. I'm out. Peace.